going to show you how to decorate a tree with lights. What you want to do is you want to start off with your bigger lights first. These are going to go towards the inside of the tree. Um, that way the whole, all of the colors reflect and radiate to the outside of the tree and the ornaments will pick up on them. You want to be careful that you don't put any big bulbs next to any branches that are kind of dry because we don't want to start any fires. So I'm going to start at the end and I'm just going to start at the bottom and clip them to different branches, weaving in and out. And as I said, I want to center these more towards the inside because that way the different colors will reflect off of different areas of the tree and the different ornaments. And I'm going to work my way up through the tree. You might want to have somebody step back for you and make sure that you know your tree stays even, that you have bulbs in different areas. Or you can do this yourself just by stopping every once in a while and stepping back. You want to make sure that you plan where the ends of your lights are going to be because you don't want to string too many lights together because this could be a fire hazard, too many strands of lights. You want to make sure to put a couple of lights at the top of your tree. This will light up your tree topper so it showcases the top of the tree. And if you get to the top and you have a few left over, like you notice I do, just work them back into the tree. And we'll see. Maybe one right here. And like with anything, you want to make sure that you're, if you're only seeing one side of your tree, that that side looks the best and has the most lights. All right, so we've got our inside bulbs done. Now we want to move on to either our white lights or different colored lights, the smaller bulbs. And we're going to do the same thing, except this time we can place it closer to the outside of the tree. You still want to make sure that you uh, weave it into the branches a little bit just so that they don't fall back off. And you want to make sure that you kind of move between the levels of the different tree branches because this will give it a more varied look. If you just work, if you just spiral around the tree, you'll have a lot more um, open spaces and empty holes. So if you just work your way up and down kind of in a zigzag motion, you'll make sure to cover your whole tree and make it look its best. And again, we're starting at the bottom where the, our tree is the widest, so that, we, that way we don't get to the bottom and run out of lights. And you can cross them over each other, it won't be a big deal. And they'll blend in together. Again, you'll wanna stop every once in a while to make sure that you're getting it evenly across your tree and that you don't have any empty spots with no lights. All right. So our Christmas tree is all ready to be decorated further. Thank you and have fun.